Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Dirt Bike Channel. Today we're going to talk about all the gear it takes to go for a ride. Stick around. So everything you see here on the table has actually been reviewed in one form or another on my channel, but what I've never done is I've never shown a video where I had it all out on the table and said, this is pretty much what you need to ride a dirt bike. Now, not everything on the table is absolutely mandatory, and I'll get into that, but I wanted to show you what I'm wearing every single time I'm out. It's actually a lot of gear, a lot of protective gear that keeps me safe, and you might want to add some of this, or if you're just getting into dirt bikes, here's a good idea of some of the things that you might want to wear. So I'm just gonna start with, with my base layer. This is something that I started doing a couple years ago. I have these fly racing uh, base layers that I use right here. I, use, I have the upper body one and it's long sleeve. The reason why is because I'm, you, you wanna protect your, your arms all the way down. So I wear these, these uh, base layers. Now I even wear, actually I guess I don't wear the base layer like this in, in the summertime, but I'll wear this most of year round, probably at least six months out of the year, I'll wear that base layer on my torso. Here's one that I wear all year round. So this is the same thing, this is the fly racing uh, base layer. These are lightweight, breathable, they wick moisture away and sweat away, and I actually do wear these year round, even if it's 100 degrees out there. One of the reasons I like this is because it helps so I don't get chafing off my knee braces, which I'll get to in a moment, but um, I wear these year round no matter what the temperature is. The next, the next piece of equipment that I'll talk about are just jerseys. So these are Troy, this is a Troy Lee Designs jersey. And you'll notice I've got, I've got gear from all kinds of different brands out there. I don't care whether it's Fox, Troy Lee, Liat, Climb, um, you know, all of these different vendors, Fox. Uh, I use them all and they're all good for different reasons. This one is a good riding jersey. You'll notice all the riding jerseys have long sleeves. You want that. And you'll also notice that most of my riding jerseys have holes in them like this in the sleeves because I end up just getting snagged by branches and trees and things like that. And so I can usually, I'll usually go through a jersey or two every year. So I'll have just multiple sets of these kind of in my gear bag. Um, also super, super, super important. And again, I'm just gonna go through some of my mandatory things first, are a good pair of riding pants. These ones happen to be climb pants. I like pants, I'm starting to wear, mostly gravitate towards only pants that have pockets in them so I can keep my cell phone in there. But these, pocket, these pants also feature like a vented side piece right here. They'll be reinforced in all the right places, keep you from getting burned on your bike, keep you from getting road rash and things like that when you take diggers. And so a good pair of riding pants. I know some of these things are kind of expensive, but this is basically mandatory for me. I will not ride without that. Um, other things I will not ride without are a good pair of boots. You can see these boots over here. These are my CD Crossfire SRS or Crossfire 3 SRS boots. Very good boots. And I've got a couple pairs of boots that I kind of cycle through, but these have been my workhorse here for the last couple of years, just wearing those. Um, I've also got a couple, I've got many, many different types of gloves. These are a fly racing glove that um, is for a little bit, you know, kind of medium weather, weather or even warmer, warmer weather. And then I've got these 100% uh, brisker gloves. I love these things. These things are great for when it's cold. I'll, I'll put links to all this stuff down in the description. Um, this is one of my pairs of goggles. This is a 100% Armega goggle. I've done other goggle reviews. There's good ones from Fox and Oakley and Havoc and all kinds of stuff, but this is a good goggle that I will use. Obviously, you're gonna wanna have socks, long socks in your riding uh, pants. These are socks that I sell, Dirt Bike Channel socks. And then, um, obviously, you wanna have a helmet. So I've got uh, a lot of different helmets. This is my newest helmet. It's the um, Fly Formula helmet. I just, basically retired its brother. I had a red version of this that I took a digger on and I pounded my head on the ground really hard so I had to retire that one. So this is the replacement helmet. Those are the things that I will not ride without. I just, I just won't. I won't ride without a base layer now. Um, I won't ride without uh, you know, a gear like my jersey and my riding pants, the gloves, the boots, the helmet. I'm not gonna ride without that. Now let's talk about some optional things. Obviously I've got my riding pack over here as well, which I'm always carrying with me. Let's talk about some optional things that I wear just to, as a precaution. Right here is the, uh, is the uh, Liat Fusion vest. This is a chest protector and back protector and it also has a neck brace integrated into it. No, I don't take a lot of roost, but I can take a handlebar in the chest 
or I can take a tree in the chest or something like that. So this isn't just a roost guard for me, this is just adding a little bit of extra protection to my vital organs and then also giving me some neck bracing. This is the only neck brace that I've ever used um, and I just use it because it's convenient. I like that setup, um, so I use that. The other thing that I use ever since I tore my ACL are these Donjoy A22 knee braces. Now it looks a little weird because it has the Donjoy kneecap and shin protector here. So it looks a little bit different than what you'd see on the Donjoy website, but you'll notice these things are all wear, worn out and worn. I'm gonna probably have to send these to Donjoy soon to have them kind of rebuild them. Uh, but I wear this on every ride to just protect my knees and also my kneecaps right here from those, you know, those big hits or whatever dropping down onto a knee or something like that. So there's a lot of gear here. There's a, there's a bunch of money tied up in this gear. I'll put a graphic up right now showing you how much money I have tied up in safety gear that I wear every time. Now, if I was gonna say, you know, you can, you can take the knee braces out, you could take the chest protector out, you could even take your, you know, your base layer out, but you're still, you have to have good boots, you have to have a good helmet, you need to have good riding pants, and you could, you could like scrimp on, on the jersey, you could wear a sweatshirt or something like that, but it just needs to be long sleeve. You know, and obviously you could wear just some work gloves that you have around, but it's nice to have a glove that has, you know, a little bit of dexterity to it and isn't too thick. So, and then I used to ride without goggles sometimes, I don't do that anymore. It's not just the dust, it's just protecting your eyes from branches and other things that are gonna fly up and poke you in the eye and make you go blind. So, anyway, it's important to have the right riding gear with you and to not scrimp on this stuff. Just trust me guys, it's better to be safe than sorry. So is this expensive? Yeah. When people, when people email me and they say, hey, I have $2,500 and I wanna get a dirt bike, what should I be looking for? My response back sometimes is like, dude, you need at least $1,000 for your riding gear. You don't have to have a $600 helmet and you don't have to have five or $600 boots, but it certainly does help but overall, if you're gonna buy all of this stuff, you need to budget about $1,000. Um, right here, I've got much more than $1,000, but again, your needs may vary. You may not need the, uh, the knee braces, and you may not need the chest protector, and you may not need some of this stuff, but you're gonna need a lot of stuff. This is what it takes to go dirt biking, and uh, just thought you'd like to uh, see this. Hey guys, hopefully you learned something in this video, and if you wanna support Dirt Bike Channel, you can use the links down in the description to many of these products, or just update your bookmark to Rocky Mountain ATV to Dirt Bike Channel's link. It's down in the description. It would help my family out a ton. Also, just know that very soon, we will be giving away two dirt bikes. We'll be giving away this Beta 300RR and this Yamaha YZ250FX. I don't know when this video will come out. If it comes out before April 15th, then just wait until April 15th. If it comes out after April 15th, it's already on, and every $5 you spend over on dirtbikechannel.com gets you entered to win one of three bikes, because, oh yeah, I'm also giving away a 2019 KTM 300 XCW TPI. So, I think that's about it, and until next time, let's leave a single track. Thanks.